Warning, with all engine installations, ensure boat engine is off, kill switch is disengaged, and gear shift is in neutral position. Place Stingray Jr. as far forward on cavitation plate as motor will allow. If the gap needs to be narrowed to fit a smaller engine, remove nut and bolts from the center of the Stingray Jr. and separate into two parts. The unit was made to be reduced in 1 4 inch increments. Cut the same amount from both halves until Stingray Jr. fits your motor. Refit the two pieces together as one unit. There will be flow marks. They are a natural part of the production process. This does not affect the integrity of the item. Place hydrofoil back onto cavitation plate. Drill holes at least 3 8 of an inch away from the outer edge. Remove hydrofoil and snap black rubber washers on bottom of the hydrofoil. Replace hydrofoil back onto cavitation plate. With the white side of the locking nut facing up, insert the four locking nuts on top of the hydrofoil in pre-drilled areas. Insert bolts from bottom, lightly screw all four in. After all four are in place, gently tighten up. Your Stingray Classic Junior is now properly installed.